Hello Divination and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a scrollable text preview tablet with Divi. So here are a few examples where you can use this. So let's say you have a book that's about to be published and you only want to show two chapters. So that's one example where you can use this. Or let's say you have an ebook that you want to give away and you'd like to show your visitors a few of the pages that you have in your ebook. Again, you can use it for that example. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how we managed to create this. All you're going to need for this tutorial is some CSS code. So if you'd like to follow along, you can go to our post, which I'll link in the show notes below. Okay, so let's start by logging into our WordPress dashboard. So we're here in our dashboard. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. So let's call this page tablet. But of course, you can call this page whatever you want. So I'm going to go ahead and click on use the Divi Builder and use Visual Builder. Right, so what we want to do here is to add some columns. So I'm going to come over here to this plus button, click plus and add two columns. Next, we're going to add a gradient background. So we're going to come over here to our section settings, I mean to our row settings, click on this gear icon and click on background. So we're going to come over here to our linear background, click this plus button and add our first color. So I'm just going to paste it in here like that. And then I'm going to add my second color. Next, I'm going to come over here to my gradient direction and change this to 143. And then the start position is going to be 28. And the end position needs to be 28%. Like that. So now we can see we have this really cool looking shape. So let's go ahead and save. Next, we're going to add our code module. So I'm going to click this plus button here and search for our code module. And here it is. Let's paste this code. So now we can see this is the contents of uh, what's going to be in our tablet. So here what we've done is we've just added chapter one and chapter two. But in your case, you can add whatever information you want in here. It's all up to you. But uh, we have just added this dummy text. So once this is done, go ahead and save. So what we're going to do next is to style this text into the tablet. But um, in order for us to do that, we are going to add some CSS code. So the CSS code is going to go on this particular page because we don't want this code to be site-wide because that's going to affect other pages. So to do that, we're going to come over here to expand settings, click the square icon here to access our page settings, and then click the advanced tab. So here we have two options. We have performance and CSS. So the CSS code needs to come over here into the CSS uh, tab. And then I'm going to paste the CSS code. Now you can see straight away our tablet is now showing and also our, our content is now inside the tablet, which is really cool. So with that set, let's go ahead and save. Next, let's come over here to our second column. So what we need to do here is to add three modules. So we're going to add two text modules and a button module. So let me start off by adding my text module. So this text module I'm adding here is just going to have our heading. So we're just going to call this start by reading two chapters. But again, as I mentioned before, this text can be whatever you want it to be. Okay, so let's go on to the design tab. Okay, so in the design tab, we're going to come over here to the text. And we are going to change the text font to dancing, dancing script. Okay, so we're going to make it bigger. So I think the ideal size for this is going to be 40. Okay, so we're going to make it bold. Okay, so what we're going to do next is um, we need to make sure that this text is easily read on other devices. So let's come over here to this um, mobile device icon and change the size of the tablets to about 30. In fact, let's make it 35 for this. And then let's make it 30 for the, uh, for the smartphone. Okay, so this ensures that when this is viewed on different devices, it really scales properly. Okay, so now that we have that in place, let's come over here to our text color and I'm gonna paste my color in here. So now it's bold, now we can read it much, much easier. And then finally, the line height here is fine at 1.7 EMs. So let's go back to our desktop view. So for now, I'm going to save and let's add our second module. So I'm going to click this uh, plus button here to add another text module. And this is where the, descri the description is going to go. So I'm going to click on my, on my um, module 
And then I'm going to add my dummy text like that. Right, let's go into our design tab and make a few customizations. So let's come over here to our text and let's click on uh, the text font and change this to Arimo. Size 14 is perfect and our text line height is also fine. So let's go ahead and save. Right, so we can see here that at the top there is uh, very little space. So let's go into this top uh, module and make some changes to it. So in order for us to do that, we need to come over here to the gear icon. Right, so what we're going to do is to add some margins to the top. So I'm just going to search for margin. So you can see here we've got custom margin. I'm going to enter 40%. Like that. So now you can see everything has been pushed down. So it's much easier to read. So I'm going to go ahead and save. Now, finally, we're going to add our third module, which is the button. So I'm going to click this plus button here to add our button module. And then I'm going to select my button. So here on our button text, we're going to say buy now. Or you could say uh, purchase now. Okay, let's go into our design. And here, in order for us to make to make uh, some design changes to our button, we need to come over here to button and activate use custom styles for button. And now you can see we have all these options to customize our button. So let's start with our button text size. So I think the ideal size here will be 14. And then for our smartphone, let's change that to... 12 okay so that's looking good next let's change our button text color so i'm going to click here and paste my color here now it seems like it's all disappeared but uh, we're going to add a background color and that's going to really put make our button look much better so i'm going to paste my button background color in here like that so border width we don't really need a border width for this so i'm going to set it to zero the border radius is fine at three and for our font, let's use Arimo as before. So here, what you could do is you could make this bold or you could just leave it as it is. So for now, I'm just going to leave it as it is. And then I'm going to come over here and save. So now you can see that our tablet is really taking shape. So pretty much we're done here. I'm going to click on publish and then we're going to preview this. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we produce more videos similar to what you're seeing today. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.